behalf of Rocky and Katie and their families, welcome. So for those of you who don't know, my wife and I serve in uh, Watermark's pre-marriage ministry, Merge. And what's really cool, it's been fun, it's been real rewarding over the last few months to get to know you guys better um, and just to see you make Christ priority. Just embrace that challenge of making him first in your life. And so here's the crux of that challenge, is to redefine greatness, to retrain your heart and retrain your mind to God's heart and God's mind. The high calling of greatness in God's eyes is that you become a servant of all, and beginning today, that means begins with your spouse. For both of you, if you want to have a great marriage, serve others together. It's hard work, and it'll look different than the greatness both of you have achieved in the past. Rocky, they don't make baseball cards for husbands who do the dishes, rub their wives' feet, and lead their household humbly. Katie, they don't make calendars of wives who honor their husbands, do countless loads of laundry, and serve at church. But God himself will see that service and he'll see your lives and say, now that's true greatness. I do, uh, I do remember us talking about um, who would get married first, and I never thought I'd be the first one. And we argued over and over who would be first, and here I am, eight years married to my beautiful bride. Now you, tomorrow, will be married to Katie. Beautiful woman, and we're here to celebrate that. Mr. Fink, I wanted to, I know you probably had some reservations about Rocky. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hotshot, you know, professional baseball player, but I know this, best brother ever that anybody could have. I know he will protect Katie. He will provide for her. He will love her, encourage her. And I know that he will be great for you, Katie. And you guys the same. And, I, and uh, one thing I do want to tell you is remember what true love is. And true love is fighting through the hard times, not just the easy times. Because it's easy when everything's going well. So keep that love. I congratulate you guys. I wish you the best. And I love you guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Austin Fink. I'm the oldest of Katie's younger brothers. Uh, you know, growing up with Katie, it wasn't always easy, even though the pictures made it look great. Uh, you didn't get a chance to see this, but she used to dress me up in the girliest outfits and just parade me around like I was some sort of pet. Uh, who can forget about the time when Caroline and Aubrey, who just came up here and spoke, and Katie, would lock me into a closet, and they would take turns opening it and tooting inside and then closing it and keeping me trapped in there. So I don't think many people here know that, Katie. You know, thankfully, uh, thankfully she's matured a little bit. And honestly, she's, you know, she's exceeded all my expectations. She's a bit of a local celebrity, you could say, with her Cowboys cheerleader. And I know, uh, you know, she's managed to work really hard in her job, too. I think a lot of people forget that. And she's now serving in an HR director role at her hospital. So, you know, Katie, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but I'm so proud of you. And I honestly couldn't have imagined growing up with a better sister. These rings are an outward sign. Katie, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rocky, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the power vested in me, by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Rocky, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> and I'm very pleased to announce for the very first time, Rocky and Katie Cherry.
Katie was born, I bought her a teddy bear. And that bear and her parents have watched her grow from a little girl that never went without a bow on her head, thanks to her mother. She went on to college in Arkansas, and then she came to the real world, got a job, and she had a second job, and that was being a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, and now she's a black. We're very proud of her. So, the bear and her parents, we've all aged a little bit. The bear is still around, we're still around. We're happy to be here to celebrate this day. We're just so happy that Katie has found someone who's strong in his faith and strong in so many ways. We think that maybe, just maybe, you might have a few pitching lessons, hitting lessons, dance lessons coming up in your future. Uh, we shall see. <laughs>